Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum. Last time we defeated Nascor, and this time it is the grand finale indeed. Gah! It's not over, Shiny. Come on, we shall battle. Enough. Don't embarrass yourself, Nascor. What? He was gonna battle me again with six fainted Pokemon? Or five? No wait, actually. Yeah, yeah, five, because I snagged his Metagross. Sir, I I beg your pardon. What's going on? Nascor's apologizing? Isn't he supposed to be the boss? <laughs> What I want to know is how the hell did this guy's voice reach out to Nasco when he was all the way down there in the elevator? Well, um, okay. My, my. That certainly was a battle worth seeing. I must be honest with you. I never imagined that you would get this far. Huh? Mr. Mayor? Why are you here? Oh, dear me. Do you fail to understand still? You're such an innocent child. At times, I am the affable mayor of Fennec. And at others, I am the secret boss of the criminal syndicate Cypher. I am Evis, and I shall rule the world. And oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. How dare you meddle in our affairs so thoroughly. The Shadow Pokemon plan. We can resurrect from the start, and yes, I am aware that I just completely changed his voice right now because of his transformation. But you two, you'll never be forgiven. I'll destroy you utterly so you may never again rise against me. Okay, well, um... This is, in fact, the final battle. The final one. So, the hell, man? Okay, you're not you're not a ground type trying to use Earthquake, okay? Let your Pokemon do that. Seriously. Okay, Slacking and Machamp. This is, uh... And, of course, I have Jump Love out here, of course. Well, if you're going to be out here, then I better put you to your best use. I'm going to go ahead and Sleep Powder the... I'll do it on the Machamp, and I'm going to go ahead and use a... Should I just Surf right away, or should I use Rain Dance? I'm thinking of using Rain Dance. Yeah, I'll use Rain Dance. Sleep, don't... Damn it, you got to be kidding me. You can't be affording to miss in this important battle. Seriously. Now Proligator's going to go down in one freaking try. That's a waste of a turn if he dies. Rock Slide, okay, that's not going to kill Proligator, but that might kill... Jumpla. No, it didn't. Okay, that's not going to be for alligator then. There's no way. And, okay, you avoided it. That's nice. I'll take that then, because, you know, I did. you did miss. Jumpla, please don't freaking miss. Okay, let's try this again. Put the Machamp. Actually, no, wait. Okay, you're going to not attack this turn yet. That's a good thing about Slacking. He only attacks every other turn. Sleep Powder. And... Time to... Well, actually, let me see. If I... I'm thinking here. No, I'm good. I'll just use a surf. Do a surf. Okay, thank you. Thank you for not missing again, Jump Bluff. That's very good. Alright, my champ fell asleep, and now let's see how much this surf does. It's probably not going to do too much. Slacking is loafing around. Okay, very good. Let's see, it's buffed up, and even when it's buffed up, that did not do a whole lot. I did a little bit more to Machamp than Slacking. Okay, the rain continues to fall. Now what I'm going to do here is actually... Let's see, because you're going to go down if I... He's going to use Rock Slide if he wakes up. Slacking is going to attack for Alligator again, so I think what I'm going to do is actually get a Hyper Potion on for Alligator. And I'll use Feraligator yet again to Surf. Now that it's... Oh, Aerial Ace, really? That's going to take out Jump Love, then. Yep. Well, Jump Love is down. That's fine, though. That's fine. I mean, he is he is kind of the least valuable in my entire party when it comes to this type of battle where I don't need him to make a Shadow fall asleep. So what I'm going to do here... Let's see. There's a Fighting type out there, though. So that's kind of what's worrying me. I could just bring... Uh, you know what? I'll bring an Espeon. Sure, why not? Assuming Machamp does not wake up this turn, then I can take out Machamp next turn because, you know, you never know if he does some crazy attack and critical hits Espeon, you know, you never know. Okay, that brings me down to half. Critical hit, okay, that's... Oh, damn it, you woke up, you woke up. Okay, that's not going to kill anybody. That's, that's unstabbed. Please, 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 but damn it. I was hoping you would avoid that for Alligator, but no. I mean, it has 95 accuracy, so the chance of it missing is 
actually very low. So let's see here. Aspion's gonna go first, so... If I do this, the Psychic, and then the Surf, I hope that... You know what, yeah, I'll do it on you then. Even though Slacking is gonna slack off this turn, but Surf will get my champ either way, and Freligator can outspeed my champ, so... Okay, let's do that. Now, I don't think this will be enough, because... You have... Oh, it actually was, okay. Fine, then whoever comes out here is going to get hit by Surf, so that's of course better. Let's see who it is, though. And it's Salamence. Okay, this is actually good for Feraligator because he has Ice Beam. That's going to do quadruple damage. So, the Ice Beam combined with a Surf, the small amount it'll do right now, it should be enough to take out Salamence. Like, in the next turn, I'm saying. Machamp also goes down, which means that he does not get a turn in. He does not get an attack in this turn. Very amazing, I must say. Okay, Machamp is down. Who's next? Scizor. Okay, Scizor has just one weakness. Fire, but it's quadrupled. So, I don't have Entei out here right now, and it's still raining, so there's no point in switching in right now. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and... <sighs> Should I do this? Yeah, I'm going to get a Reflect, and I'm going to get an Ice Beam on the Salamence. X attack on Salamence. Okay. And, okay. Reflect. Okay, this will boost us up. This will kind of negate your X attack then. Ice Beam. Let's see if this is enough. I hope it is. I hope so. And, yes it is. Okay. Whew. 95 base power quadrupled. Alright, more experience for us. Thank you very much. And Slow King is out here now. Slow King is weak to Electric, Grass, Dark, and Ghost. The problem is I don't have any of those attacks out right now. Okay, you're kind of weak here. There's nothing I could do with Espeon. I could try and get a Psychic, but that's really not going to do a whole lot. And... Hmm. I'm kind of in a bad position here, but the thing is I don't want to be wasting switch outs because let's see I'm not sure who you would attack that's the thing if I bring out Entei no no you know what I'll bring out Umbreon this turn and for you I'm just gonna go ahead and let's see Ice Moon's not gonna do much Brick Brick is oh my god none of these are gonna do much I mean I might as well get a Surf then well no actually I'll, I'll do an Ice Beam maybe to try and freeze who's better than better than the Surf who it's not really that impressive, you know? I mean, all three of his attacks are resisted by Slow King. Okay, Ice Beam. Got to hope you freeze, that's the only reason I use this. And the, you know, the very small chance that I could freeze you. Nope, didn't work. Silver Wind, that's not good. It's gonna do double damage to... That's fine though, oh damn it, that was what to reflect on. Jesus, man. Psychic. Okay, that's going to attack for Alligator. I'm kind of worried here that um, Umbreon might not be out... Ugh, damn it. Let's see, I have to use a Fame Attack on... Oh, but the thing is, is it going to do a lot? That's the, that's why I'm not sure. Hmm. I'll use a Fame Attack, and then I'll use Feraligator's turn to actually heal up Umbreon. Okay, I need to get Entei out here soon to take, to take care of that Scizor. Let's see, how many have I killed? I've killed Slyking, I've killed Machamp, and Selma, so you have three left, okay. Silverwind, that's doing a really good amount, actually. That's with my Reflect, too, because Bug types are physical. Psychic, that might take out for Alligator, it's not a bad thing if it does. Okay, it didn't, that's fine then, that's fine. That did not do a whole lot, so what I'm thinking of doing is just using a Confuse Ray on... Uh... You, and... Damn it. <laughs> I'm screwed here. Let's get another max potion. On. Or a max potion. The first max potion because we're finally out of hyper potions. Confuser on the Scizor. I hope you hit yourself. That'd be pretty nice if you do. And. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You did. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, Psychic. Frolligator's down. That's good though. I mean, that's. You know. Froligator was actually my best killer in the beginning. He used Surf multiple times, you know? He then... 
He then used an ice beam to take out Salamence. He did a good job. Now it's time for Entei, finally. Entei's gonna outspeed everybody in here for sure, so that's good. He's going to get priority and knock out Scizor in one try. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and faint attack the Slow King. So, let's see. Flamethrower will take out you. I know that. That's gonna bring out your last one, because I've already taken out Slacking, Machamp, Salamence, and now Scizor, that's four. So that means you're down to Slow King and your final one. Which is gonna be really easy to get out of the field. Tyranitar. It's actually a female. What the... Wow. I think the chance of that is like, what, 12.5% chance maybe? I think so, I'm not really sure. Sandstream, oh god. Faint attack, which again doesn't even do that much. Okay. So, water pulls, that's going to do double damage to Entei. That's fine though, he can survive one. Yeah, barely, shoot. Wow. Okay. So yeah, there is a Tyranitar out here, which is going to do deal damage to everybody for a bit. Except himself, because he's a rock type. Herself, it's a female Tyranitar. Alright. Faint attack on you, and I'm going to use Entei's turn to actually... No, not that. Master Ball. Master Ball time. On Tyranitar. This will be a for sure snag, because that's what the Master Ball does. And that's why I was saving it for the last one. One, two, three, and all right, we got we got Tyranitar. Of course, I mean, come on, you know, I was saying it like there was a chance we could escape. She, I can't, I, I, I keep having, I keep making mistakes. No, it's a she, not a he. That's weird though. Tyranitar's all look male. Okay, well, it actually took out Sloking too, so we are done. We have defeated you and taken your powerhouse. No, even my ultimate Pokemon. Wow. That was your ultimate shadow, a Tyranitar, which, which we snagged and won. Well, okay, whatever. Halt, stop where you are. There's no getting away this time. Ooh, look, the officers are here. Everybody's here. Cypher's finished. The shadow Pokemon plan ends now. And Egan is here, wow. And he just comes in and he's like, Yuki, are you alright? Um, okay. Blast you! Don't you forget what you've done, Shiny. It won't end this way next time. It will ruin you the next time. I promise you that. Next time? Well, okay. What the hell is this? <laughs> Helicopter comes out of nowhere. Um, okay. It hasn't ended yet. That's actually true. It technically hasn't ended yet because there is a sequel. Called XD Gale of Darkness. What the hell? And it just... <laughs> oh my god. Something just blasted. Wow. And they're under arrest, apparently. What is that? Look at that. It's a ho -Oh. <laughs> It's a legendary Pokemon. It's a ho -Oh. oh, wow. It is. It's really a ho -Oh. That's incredible. It must have been keeping an eye on, on your heroics from the sky above. You obviously earned its support. Of course, it would also never allow criminals to get off scot-free. Not when they're guilty of an outrage like creating shadows. Yeah, I call him Shadow sometimes instead of Shadow Pokemon. Oh wow, so Ho was watching over us. Finally over. Uh, yes, we did face a lot of challenges. Well, okay. So true, this is the first time I've seen one up so close. Yuki and Shiny, the Ho was blessing you for your victory. Such a perfect outcome, yes indeed. Well... Well, you're actually not that close. Okay, now you kind of are, at least to the camera, but I don't know. I don't know in ratio to them, you know, the people who were on the Coliseum standing there. But, we did it. That was, in fact, the final... How, how much time are we at? Up to 14. Okay, well, that was the end. The finale of this playthrough. And let me just say... Oh, sorry about that sound. Let me just say, this was a very, very long Let's Play, because... I didn't even talk about this at all during the Let's Play itself, but most people who Let's Play this game, they tend to speed up some battles, you know. Even the ones where there's some shadow Pokemon involved, they tend to speed some up, and I did it differently in how I did not speed up a single battle in the entire Let's Play. 
Because of that, it of course made the Let's Play much longer, you know, it went up to 67 parts, so that's quite a lot. You know, most of the ones I see are like, what, 40 to 50 at the most, maybe 50 at the most? That went to 67, very close to 70, and we're still not even done yet because there are some bonus stuff to still do. So, I won't be doing those immediately, all the bonus things, you know, because again, I, I always leave the bonus content until later. I don't want to do them right after the grand finale of a Let's Play. Instead, I wait, probably do another new Let's Play, then go back to the previous one and then finish up with that game, you know? Kind of like what, uh, what I did with Final Fantasy. I finally got the bonus videos. They were up a few weeks ago, maybe. I think the last one should have been up uh, maybe like last week, part 60. But yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to say about that in terms of how, you know, of why I did not speed them up because I was trying to take a different approach. Most people just, again, they speed up a good amount of them, which does make it more fun for some people. But then others actually want to see the entire, the entire battle, you know, unsped up. So, it was interesting, a little bit long, a little bit dragged out, especially because I did do a lot of side stuff, you know, such as the, uh, the mount battles, I did all the knockout challenges, at least for now, there's still the Deep Coliseum, which again is part of the bonus, but... The one thing that pisses me off is that we did not capture the Houndoom. We missed out on Houndoom, it's the only one. So, I do believe you can regain... Can, uh, in what, the Deep Coliseum? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but I did hear something about that, like, you can get the rematches there, I'm not really sure, though. Very special things, too, okay. So, yeah, you know, these credits are just passing by, and I'm just waiting here, just talking a bit more. I really don't think there's anything else to say in terms of that, but I will be, uh, let's see, like, what day will this video be up? December 20-something, I know that, even though I'm recording this a little bit ahead of time, just so I can be prepared for... All the stuff there is to do, you know, because Christmas will be coming up soon, things like that, so... Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else to say about that. Would you like to save your progress? Uh, yes, I actually would like to save my progress. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna overwrite. Okay. So yeah, all done with that. Now, again, this video will be up by December... Oh, by the way, we got an email. This video will be up by December... 20 something I don't really remember but I'm not going to be starting a completely new let's play until the beginning of, until New Year's January 1st so it's going to be a little bit of time away you know quite some time so Shiny's email instead what I'm going to be doing if you're interested is I'm going to be going back and basically just finishing up with other let's plays that I've kept in there that are not quote completed or I should say bracket completed all right got two Shiny, I did it. I analyzed the data ROM and managed to extract a partial list of Shadow Pokemon. For the time being, I've identified 29. There should, there appear to be more, so I'll send updates when I find them, okay? And then this one. This one is from Net, again. We, that's myself and Sec and Pyrite, develop a new system of downloading data automatically to your PDA. From now on, information about Shadows should arrive directly from people connected to the network. Check it out. Information about shadows should arrive directly from people connected to the network. Okay. So, let's go ahead and look at the snag list. Which, uh... Let's see. Whoa. There's, wait, wait a minute. What the hell? Why are these... Oh, is that what you're talking about? How it's now... I don't know. I, I don't know too much about this, that last email. But yeah, these are all yellow, so I obviously want to clear these up, you know. Remoraid. Mantine, Quillfish, oh my god, this list will be long. But, uh, you know, I think it's a good time to do this on the finale, you know, just to show off every single one that we snagged, you know? Look at, look at all this, look at all this coolness. Entei, Lady Anne. You know, what's funny is that there's only one more Pokemon in between the, these two legendaries, Entei and Suicune. But then, in between Suicune and Raikou, there's actually a ton. These four from the under, then, then there's a bunch from the, uh, the actual lab, you know. Look at this. Look at that. Also a Gramble, Vibrava, which we train into a very powerful Flygon, I must say. Sunflora, Delibird, Heracross, and all these. And now time for the one fail. Oh my god. But Snag failed. You gotta be kidding me. 
we missed out on one. Metagross and Tyranitar. So, that's it. And now... Oh yeah, these two, that's right. Bayleaf. Quilava. These two are appearing here because of that Datarol, I'm guessing. Strategy Mamma, which I don't even care about. Shiny's email, which we already checked everything there is. Okay, let's get out of here, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go ahead and save. There's really nothing else to... Oh, another email. Okay. I was actually waiting for that one, too. Because I remember this. Big guy, there's trouble. The Kid Network got word that a suspicious-looking Pokemon was spotted in Pyrite. I'd like to give you the full story in person, so can you come visit me? So I gotta visit Sec in Pyrite Town. Okay. So yeah, I'll be going there for sure. However, for now, I'm not going to. Because, again, this was the finale. The grand finale, so I'm gonna be taking a break. All these side stuff, such as that, those emails that I just got, and more. Uh, I'm going to be doing that when I return for this game and, you know, finish up the bonus videos. Also, let me just go ahead and stock up on stuff. Healing items. Because I really need to. I, I was... Wow. I did not go too prepared in terms of buying stuff. Wait, what the... <laughs> Screw this. Screw this. Seriously. Let me just see my levels. Okay, so 53 and 54 for everybody. I'll just put these two out here in the front because it looks like they could use the experience, you know? Alright, so... It is time to get the hell out of the way. <laughs> okay. PC. Let's enter. And it is now over. I don't need to heal. But there is one thing I should do. And that is deposit this one thing that I forgot to deposit. And that's the... Wait, what am I doing? Oh, Sharpie. Oh, actually, never Nevermeltize and Sharpie. Both of them. Okay. And now... One thing I want to do is go to the Pokemon storage to see who is actually having Metal Coat and... You have a Metal Coat, which I guess I'll take out. And you have a Nugget. Okay. I'm all done here, so... It's been a fun journey, like I said, but I, I will be doing the bonus uploads in some future time, not, not right away after this. So thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.